do you recommend any software to map out those processes? Which one? Uh, it's like it's really simple. I started with a notebook and a pen, which yeah. is the most amazing software ever. It never runs out of battery. Okay. But the second thing that I use in the Shared End 30 Day Challenge is MindNotes. Uh, it's a really intuitive uh, app that I have on the MacBook. How is it called? MindNode. Okay, MindNode. Okay. Mind Node. And the reason I use that app is simply because it's a mind mapping tool and I'm a visual person, as you might have guessed with a video company. Uh, so it, there's no lag, it's really intuitive. I can have these mind maps and then I can subtract them really easily. So with running two companies, obviously you want to have two separate systems. They're in one mind notes, but because everything's subtractable like that, I, like I can just copy paste everything. Um, and, and I just start, I look at the big companies and I look at their vice presidents. And so you will always notice a trend. If you take the three biggest companies, you notice a trend. There's always one that's marketing, always one that's HR, always product innovation, always finance and legal. And so you start seeing the trends of what you should be having in your company. And then you start going deeper and deeper and deeper. And, deeper. and as you grow as a company, those become detailed, more detailed and detailed. Um, and yeah, the thing is, you have to put it like some. You cannot like map out on paper. You have to put it somewhere on your PC, your computer, tablet. You somewhere. can, you can on paper, right. but at, at one point, like for instance, I copy paste stuff. So I want a computer software, right. so I use my note. What is the chance that a hacker uh, takes? They it? won't understand. Takes but, it and, and copies it and sells it somewhere. Oh, I mean, uh, steal the whole idea. Well, my note is offline. But, I mean, it's really hard because the way I do hiring funnels yeah. uh, at this point is because I'm, if I change the script of recruitment, I change it right away in there. So I don't have my old scripts. Mm -hmm. So, um, which I should have, but I don't because it's just a waste of my time. But um, if a hacker at this point would take over that script, he doesn't have the brands, the portfolio, the logos that I have, the connections that I have, like I said, most businesses referral. So he could copy my hiring funnels, it'll save him three months, six months of his time. I'm like, okay, fine. Okay. Come back for more businesses. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's company <coughs> secrets, right? Like if yeah, you find that person, it's, it's, yeah. Every company has that issue. I don't, I don't, okay. I don't really care about that right now, but I don't think I'm at the level where I have to worry about that yet. Right. The moment I get there, I will probably automate, automate that as well. Okay. Um, for everybody, efficiency is different. So what's efficient for you? Yeah, exactly. That's right. Don't worry about stuff like that until it pops up. When it pops up, you'll deal with it. No problem. Uh, I, had, I had a hacker break into my website and it was completely offline. It's freaking horrible, but I dealt with it within 48 hours and was back on. So it's, it's not that bad. Thank you. Every, every company should do it. Yeah. Hire a hacker. Yeah. yeah. True. The, the people in the longevity community that I hang out with, usually they started off as, ha as hackers, like for companies and stuff like that. They make a lot of money. It's true. Uh, so, and they started hacking their body. Does that answer your question? Yeah.